Hey guys, Cam here from 9to5Google and the Android N dev preview has just dropped so we rushed at the opportunity to check it out. Now you'll notice some changes right from the setup screen where you now get the option to add additional apps and fill in emergency contact and medical details. Now this presumably is so that people can help you if they find you unconscious or if you're in need of emergency medical attention. Now once we get past these setup screens, we see the new home screen for the first time, which includes a brand new wallpaper. And probably the first major change I noticed, however, was the new drop-down menu. The animation of the quick access toggles when expanding is brand new and it looks pretty awesome. And when you push this back up, only the essential quick access buttons are shown in a single row above the notifications. They sort of rearrange themselves in this really nice fluid animation. As well as that, you can now tap the battery icon to get a quick look at your battery usage without leaving the drop down shade. And you can also rearrange, add or delete custom quick settings toggles by hitting edit and then dragging and dropping the icons around. As well as all that, the notification cards themselves have been completely redesigned too. They fill the entire screen on the lock screen and the home screen when unlocked. And with certain apps, they include a new quick reply option, allowing you to respond to messages without having to leave the app you're in. Now, some notifications like screenshots like you share or delete them, like they do in Marshmallow. And even phone calls on the home screen come down as a flat drop down card. And of course, the biggest update with Android N is the much rumored new multitasking options. While the new main recent app screen has been redesigned with wider cards, we now finally have multi window split screen apps baked right into Android. And activating it is pretty simple. You just press and hold on an app in the multitasking view and drag it up to the top of the screen. Then you select another in the bottom half. And once you've chosen your two apps, you can interact with both of them at the same time and adjust where the split between them should be. If you turn it horizontally, it works in landscape too. Now, while the multitasking mode is enabled, the home screen also turns landscape. Cancel the split screen mode and it returns to its portrait only orientation. Now, one feature I really like a lot is the new display size option in the display settings. By adjusting the slider, you can change the entire interface of your phone to make app icons, text, cards, and menus larger or smaller to suit your taste. And if you enable the system UI tuner by pressing and holding the settings cog in the drop down menu for a few seconds, the night mode option has returned. This changes the color of the screen to make it less harsh for nighttime reading. It also includes the option to have it turn on automatically and lets you activate a system wide dark mode. The settings menu has been updated too and shows you when you have features like do not disturb or data saver switched on. And that's right at the top and gives you smart suggestions like changing wallpapers. What's more, the settings menu now has a side menu which is easily accessible and gets you back to the main list of settings categories. Data Saver is also a new feature which lets you select which apps can use data limitlessly as well as setting a usage barrier and monitoring your own data consumption more effectively. So that's most of the big stuff that's been included in Android N. Of course, if you spot anything, let me know. I'll leave links below for where you can download the dev preview as well as a link to how you get it installed onto your phone. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on Twitter, and I'll see you again soon.